Hey guys, this is Lala Legacy back with another episode of Enigma in Ignis's route. So we are going to go ahead and do his second ending. So the first ending we said to not take the other bird. So this time what we're going to do is we are going to take it. I think I'll take it. I bet he wants to spread his wings outside too. Be careful not to let it get away then. <laughs> I will. I'm kind of scared. The forest. I can't feel its eyes on me anymore. I see. That cannot be true. Perhaps he is at the point where he cannot feel it anymore. Ignis! It is nothing. Let's go. The air feels so fresh! I cannot believe it's filled with miasma, or whatever you call it. It is not a thing that can be perceived by human senses. It doesn't affect you? No. <laughs> That's good to hear. Why? Why? <laughs> Why are you laughing? I mean, you can't be serious. About what? I'm glad. Hmm? I'm glad you are going to survive. Sheesh. But my survival has nothing to do with you. It does. In what way? I mean, I've got to leave someone behind. Chester? Even heroes grow lonely on their own. What are you... Finally! Chester! 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 I wish to see you so much. You are... Yes, you indeed possess a hue the 29th has no knowledge of. Or have I merely forgotten? The memories up until the 28th are uncertain. I believe this is similar to elation that humans too possess. Yes, I am elated. What do you want? Chester! The Inverio want you, Chester. Uh... This has happened before. If you kill him now, you will waste your color. Be gone, Enigma's puppet. You are a liar. You lie with the face of it emotionless or you lie with a face motionless as a doll's. You are the one who made Inverio, but I feel I have heard those words of yours before. When was it? When was it? It doesn't matter! Chester! Inverio, wish for your color! They told me they or they told me to wait until the hue is at its thickest, but I cannot or I can contain myself no longer! Give me your color, Chester. Chester Heaven and earth shall be punished Their boon plundered A fissure shall crack the world A lush soil turning into a blade of desiccation And repel you You think yourself a hero now. 
sorcerer. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> you know better than anyone that this means nothing. You are already... Shut up. A mere doll has no right to say that to me. Oh, Ch Chester. Whew, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> when you say that, it doesn't sound like a joke. <laughs> I saved, or it saved my life. That's... Its wing got broken in exchange, though. It is a bird that can, or that could not fly in any case. If anything, it must be glad for getting the chance to save you. <laughs> Don't make it sound so sad! Chester. Hmm? I'm glad you're okay. Ignis! I was scared out of my wits. <laughs> but it does no longer matter. Now I understand. Huh? Let's go. The doll shan't move for a while. I give it ten days. But that is more than enough for you, I believe. Won't it go after you? It cannot afford to lose me. I'm, or I am the only one with the ability to make others. This 29th shall soon gain its color and return to Enigma. Then another doll will be needed. Will you make another one? Again? Is he not? <laughs> oh, I guess he is. That is how I lived up to this point. Chester, you do not need to think about the future. One day, you should leave your wish with someone else. No! All you need to leave in this world is but a single wish. All else is redundant. So calm yourself, close the book. You alone. Travel to the world with no pain. Chester. This is how your story ends. Whoa! Wait. What? So, this is how your story ends. People normally only say that when they're about to kill somebody else. So... What's going on? I guess we'll see. Did he suffer? Of course. Yet, nonetheless, he passed away with a smile, although he could not possibly even make out my face at the time. He thanked me. All I did was stay by his side. You sure have changed! You weren't one to show kindness to others! Kindness? You just... Ignis! Master, if you still have but a trace of regret in your heart, you should reconsider everything one more time. What you have protected and what you have destroyed. What good will that do at this point? At this point? You are still alive. Yet you use such foolish words. If you
you are planning to keep living in this world, you should quit looking for the easy way out. <laughs> Touché! I see you definitely aren't, m er, aren't mincing words today. So, that's how far you would go. You are thinking something too, aren't you? About changing yourself. He looks crazed and, like, sleep-deprived. Yes, I am. Well then, I shall look forward to that. Would you share your plan with me? What will you do with that information? Well, it might help me come up with one of my own. That would be impossible. Why would you think so? I do not want to help you, nor talk about myself. What on earth are you thinking? I shall excuse myself, Master. Agnes! Have a good trip. I have always lived this way. Yes. That's the story of the past. Your story has ended. I am glad we could spend its last page together. It was much more peaceful than the days I spent with my comrades in the past. Yet it still made me feel as if it was a continuation of that time. You taught me the pain of reality in the gentlest way possible. No, oh, no. I thought you were like us in the past, but I was wrong. You accepted the harshness of reality no matter how bad it got. I was the sole survivor of our group. As such, I could not acknowledge it. But now I feel I finally can. Wigness! I was just a man not chosen by anyone, much less divine will. I lost my wings so I could no longer fly, yet the blueness of the sky got engraved upon my heart forever. Like a scar. And I ended up unable to move. How much more ridiculous can one get? I wonder if that barrier will disappear. What do you think, Chester? No. My story is at its end as well. There's little point in thinking. Well then, I suppose it's time to leave everything to the future. To the hands of a real hero. What? No! Ignis! Don't do it! Ugh, I know it doesn't say exactly what happened to him. But I'm assuming that he probably killed himself because he was talking with Greta about finding an easy way out, changing, all that other kind of stuff, and... Oh my god. I am so emotional right now, because I do believe that's what happened. <laughs> I'm sure that we'll find out, uh, like, what really happened in that ending, like, later on in a different ending. Maybe with somebody else, but still, oh god, that's so sad. Anyways, that's all the time that I have for this episode, guys, so if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Now we'll see. <laughs> well, hold on. Ah! I messed up my outro! <laughs> ah! And if you haven't already, subscribe! And by subscribing, you are becoming part of a legacy. Oh, I'm messing up because I'm so emotional right now. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!